I'm Maimon. Welcome back to one of my videos in a continuing series on on the journey of raising our backyard chickens. And today it's going to be an update video, so I'm not sure how long it'll be depending on how much I ramble. But today, we're three weeks in, and our chicks are no longer chicks. Apparently, they're called pullets, which means that they're basically, uh, I guess in the easiest way to explain it, they're basically uh, child or teenage chicks. So. Like I said before in one of my videos, we got these chicks on July 22nd and today is August 9th. So these guys are about three weeks old. And if you watch my previous videos, which you totally should if you haven't, you'll see that they originally had down. The tell, the tell sign for seeing if uh, a chick is a pullet or not is if they have feathers, like these guys have. As you can see, there's no longer some furry down, but... Uh, hold on, let me, let me pick one up. But rather, actual feathers. And you can see they even have tail feathers. And another cool thing is that I'm only going to do this once because I don't want to stress them out, but they can actually fly. You can see them flap their wings. And that's actually kind of bad because as you can see, our enclosure is very small. And so already in the past, we've had these chickens, not these chickens, these pullets actually fly out of the box. So we have to, we're going to have to get a bigger enclosure for them uh, so, so that they uh, don't we don't lose them. But fortunately, they haven't gone too far in the basement. And they always come back to the uh, enclosure uh, when they need to sleep. So it's okay, I guess. So another thing I should mention is that they also like to roost on this this lid that we have here, which isn't really much of a problem. But I thought it would be something that would be worth noticing. I remember the first time I saw one of the chicks actually sitting on the roost. I was alarmed because they're not supposed to get out. But you know, in the end, maybe it's probably good. So that these guys can get a, do a bit of exploring of the basement. But uh, just for another demonstration of this guy flying, look at that. Wait. <laughs> okay, never mind. So you saw on the first time that we did that that he spread his wings, sort of like an actual bird. What the? Woo! Okay. And <laughs> I think pretty much all ten of them. Uh, have grown to that stage where they can fly out of the enclosure. So we definitely need to get one that's higher. Wait, uh, have I been saying he? I I keep saying he, but just to clarify, I need to keep reminding myself. All of these uh, pullets are female. Uh, so I need to keep referring them by she. I need to keep remembering this, especially for the future videos. But like I said, all 10 of them should be able to fly out of the enclosure, so eventually we're gonna need to get a bigger enclosure. Wait. Oh, there's supposed to be five of each of them. There's there's five um, brown chickens, but where's the fifth black one? What the? Oh, there you are. Look at that. Uh, there this guy is. Uh, and as you can see, Bella is uh, apparently very scared of her. If, the, if, you, if this was like uh, any other cat, they'd probably uh, be gunning for him, but uh, I guess he's just vibing. No, not you, but okay. Come here. So, we already did a video. Actually. Oh, I'm showing. How the cat, how the, how, um, let me rephrase. We already did a video showing the safest cat to have around your chicks. And Bella actually treated these guys pretty normally, even when they were at the chick stage. Even when they were. All right, so you guys probably don't want to uh, see Bella right now. You probably want to see the chickens. But if you do want to see Bella, we do have other videos on our channel. But talking more about our pullets, they eat drink and poop a lot talking about the food first uh as you can see they're currently they're pretty much all surrounding the food and eating it and actually this container right here it only feeds the uh chicks for about only half a day so in order to fully feed these chicks for a full day you have to fill this entire container to full twice a day and i think uh each container is about a scoop so that's two scoops out of this bag uh, to feed these chicks 
talking about the water here, these chicks, they drink about, about three quarters of the water bottle every day, which means that every day we have to make sure that the, this water bottle is refilled. Now you can see that both the food and the water are a bit raised from the, um, the, sh the, the shavings on the floor. The reason why is because as you can see right here, our chicks really like to put their shavings and debris inside of the uh, water container, which can block the water from actually getting out. So in order to do prevent that, we put them on boxes so that um, we minimize the amount of shavings that we put in. Finally, these chicks like to peck. Um, let's see if they'll peck me. I mean, they like me a lot, so maybe they don't. See, as you can see, <laughs> okay, with that chick, he really likes to peck. So what we have here under him is, I'm gonna just take this from you real quick, is we have some forage cake for them to peck. Uh, this one is uh, a bit dirty, so every time we, we handle this, we have to make sure that we wash our hands. But as you can see, wait, uh, hold on. We have to wait until they actually peck it for a demonstration. So some of you might be asking, what are we going to do for the new enclosure for the chickens? And actually what we're doing is we're going to move them into the coop. However, we need to build the coop first. And instead of buying a new coop, even though Azami offered to uh, pay for it, which is $300, we decided that we wanted to reuse, uh, or I guess upcycle, our old playground into a new coop and chicken run for our new chicks. So over here, my dad's already started working on it. And as you can see, he already poured a foundation, a concrete foundation. And the reason that he's poured this foundation is so that wild animals can't dig under the, uh, the fence that we're gonna put and attack our chickens. And this is important because whatever attacked our neighbor's chickens is probably going to come for our chickens. We need to make sure that they're safe. So under the playground, you see on this other side, we're going to convert that to more space for the chicken coop. And over here, under the slide, we're going to add some netting around here so that we can make it a chicken run, which is basically where the chickens forage and, I guess, peck the ground. Also, we're going to have a uh, some sort of uh, compartment uh, sticking out on this side, so, uh, which is where the chickens are going to lay their eggs. So, it's going to be a lot of work, which means that it's going to be its own separate video. But for now, the chickens are going to be right here on the bottom of the playground, while Bella is up there on the top. So essentially, Bella is going to be safeguarding our chickens. Alright, so I don't want to make this video too long, but just keep in mind, we're going to do a few more updates on the chickens. We're probably going to do an update video the next week, which is going to be the fourth week. And actually, they say that you should move the chicks into a coop by the fifth week, so we're also going to do an update video concerning that. And like I said before, we're also going to be doing an update video about actually building a coop. So for now, I'll close it. So I'm Ayman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, look at, video, look at other videos on I and Ayman, especially our videos in our journey about raising our chicks from the hatchery to henhood. And I'll see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman, that's Bella. You can't see her face right now because she's doing something in the corner. And these are our chicks. And signing out.